In any type, sets are a way to more efficiently navigate, view, edit, add, and delete your objects. That's a lot, so let's break it down step by step. When starting out in any type, you'll have just a few objects, and you might be able to find them pretty easily by using search, widgets, or your graph. As you accumulate more objects, sets will help you find and manage these objects you've created much more efficiently than, for instance, the graph, which is better used for visualizing connections and clusters of objects. You can think of sets as a live filter or query for part of your knowledge graph, which uses a base filter of either type or relation. Let's see how that works in practice. Say I frequently create tasks for myself in any type, but right now they're kind of spread all around, and when my any type looks like this, it's hard to even know where to find them. For that reason, I'll want to create a set object which searches for and shows me all of the tasks I've ever created. To make this set, I'll simply push the plus button and select set as the type of object I'm creating. You can see that it looks a little bit different from other objects, and I'm being prompted to enter a query here. By selecting Query, Object Type, Task, I'm telling AnyType to search for all tasks in my graph. And sure enough, here they are. But as a generic list, this view isn't super useful. To make sense of what's here, I might want to view my tasks according to certain properties known as relations, which I've added to the tasks previously. These include assignee, due date, status, or priority. Now I can see all of the relations I've ever added to individual objects. You can see a couple of places where I forgot to add relations, so I'll fill them in here quickly. So if we were to think of sets as a table where object names are the first column, the relations we add to objects are the column headers on which we can sort and filter. Here, for instance, it's still a little bit messy, so I might want to split my list into different categories, like work versus personal. To do that, I'm simply using this filter menu to search for tasks with tag work. Or I might want to view all my tasks with status to do. Here, I'll add a filter for status. From set view, I can also add new objects pretty easily as they come to mind. Any changes I make within the row will instantly be reflected in the object. So instead of needing to open the objects, sets allow me to create and edit objects very quickly. That was a quick example of creating a set with base filter type, and I want to now show you how to apply the same principle using base filter relation. Say, for example, I want to look at every object I've ever created in any type. I have objects of all kinds, so instead of filtering by type, I'm going to filter by relation modified date, which is a relation or attribute that is shared or common to every object. And here we can see everything. Just by looking at this list, I can already see a ton of empty objects that have no use to me, so I want to sort this set by name. And to batch delete these empty objects, I just need to select all of them, right-click, and delete. So far, I've only shown you how sets look in grid view, which is the default when you create any new set. But you always have the option to choose between four different views, grid, list, gallery, or kanban. Here are some examples I've created of the other views, a list for my important documents, a gallery for my recipes, and Kanban for that same set of tasks you just saw me create earlier in grid view. Finally, because they're so versatile, lots of people like to pin their sets somewhere to their sidebar, either in list or link view, and it just gives you a quick way to access all these objects at once. Here in my sidebar, for instance, you see a link to a task list which I use just to tick off items as I'm going, and that saves me the trouble of even needing to open the set or individual objects just to see their status. So that's the main gist of sets. Visualize, sort, filter, and work more quickly. Remember that everything you create in any type is private, offline, available, and owned by you. Please have fun with it and let us know your feedback on the product or in our community forums.